Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Pulaski County High School. Game two getting ready to take place as Pulaski County will entertain Crosstown Rivals Somerset. We'll get you ready for all the action, but right now Bob Boone's down on the floor with the head jumper basketball coach, Jaron, and uh, let's see, uh, Jaron Dunbar and Bob, are they ready? Let's go. Hello, everybody. Join now my head coach of the Somerset Briar Jumpers, Jaron Dunbar. And first of all, Coach Dunbar, what an atmosphere here at Pulaski County High School. It's always a good atmosphere here. This is this is my favorite gym in the state, just to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, it's always fun whenever we play Pulaski County. It's always a packed house. Everybody gets into it. Good rivalry game. You said whenever you play. You met January 7th, 80-81, or 88-81. In overtime, your jumpers come out on top. Have you, how do you prepare your squad, your kids, knowing, hey, we beat them last time? Well, I told them we earned every bit of that win last time, and, and it's going to take the same effort, if not more, this game. We match up. These two teams match up with each other better than anybody in the region as far as us matching up with anybody else. Uh, so I think it's going to be a good matchup once again. It's going to be a dogfight. You're undefeated in the district. They have one loss. You win. You're the number one seed automatic. If Pulaski County comes on top, it goes to a coin flip. But as you told me just moments ago, does it really matter? As far as who we play, no, but we want that one seed. It's, it's more of a pride thing. That's, that's that's what we're going for right now. We want, we want the one seed. What do you got to do to come away with a victory tonight? We got to come out with a lot of intensity. They, they've got the momentum, you know, being at home on the, with the home court advantage. But we got to come out and do what we do. It helps we can knock, out, knock down some shots. We've been struggling the last couple games. But defensive effort is where it's going to be tonight. All right. Thank you much. Best of luck to you, Coach. Coach Deron Dunbar. This Bob Boone and Coach Dunbar, and we'll get uh, – Bob's going to find head coach John Fraley of the Pulaski County Maroons, and we'll get a chat with him. I want to remind you, this is Quick Care Walk-In Clinic at Med Park West High School Basketball, presented by the Don Franklin Family of Dealers here on LakeCumberlandSports.com. If you want to listen to the game or watch the game in 1080p, and we're talking full 1080p, go to LakeCumberlandSports.com, or you can watch the game on Facebook, Lake Cumberland Sports. While we're at it, let's go down to the floor. Bob's got Coach Fraley. Let's see what he's got to say. Now joined by head coach of the Pulaski County Maroons, or tonight, the Shopville Tigers. Coach Fraley, first of all, I want to say thanks for having us here tonight. Kind of a special night in the big house, as we like to call it. First of all, homecoming, and you guys are representing Shopville High School tonight, sporting the green and white of the Tigers. Yeah, it's a it's a cool night. We got homecoming and uh, got retro night. We got the Shopville shooting shirts with actually white lily jerseys. So we we've represented all three high schools schools tonight. It's always fun. It is going to be a lot of fun tonight. Big crowd on hand for this district matchup. You guys fell to Somerset in a hard-fought overtime game back at Somerset High in January 7th. What do you got to do tonight to come away with a victory? We got to do things better down the stretch, take care of the basketball and take better shots. We didn't do a good job of that over there and, and uh, do a better job on the boards, you know. Um, they're a good basketball team, got a lot of weapons, and we just got to go play on the defensive end. Tonight's game could decide whether we go for a coin flip or Somerset gets that number one seat. In terms of who you play, Coach Dunbar said it doesn't really matter, but he wants the win tonight. I'm sure you do. What did you tell your guys in preparation for tonight? Well, I just told them that, you know, anytime you play Somerset, you want to win. It's a cross-town rival. And you want to win every game, but tonight, you know, bragging rights on, get to wear your colors a little prouder for a year. You know how all that goes, but we're going to treat it like another game. I told my, my guys, you got to settle in, make it just like any other game the first team that does that usually has the most success coach thank you for taking time to talk to us have fun tonight Appreciate see you it. take care john Freddy, head coach of the pulaski county maroons now back to mike upstairs and thanks to coach john Freddy and jaron dunbar for meeting up with bob before the game the interviews are concluded our partner will make his way back to the booth and we'll get you ready for game two tonight the second Game of the series, if you will. Pulaski County lost in overtime to Somerset back on the 7th of January at the Briar Patch, 88-81. Somerset comes into the game 12-10, but more importantly, 5-0 in the district 
Pulaski County at 14 and eight. They're four and one in the district. If Pulaski wins, there'll be a coin toss for who is the number one seed in the 48th district. If Somerset wins, there will be no discussion. Somerset would be the number one seed, Pulaski the number two seed. No matter how this game turns out, these two teams will not play each other in the opening night of the 48th district. So those games can be heard here on Lake Cumberland, watch, seen, all that other stuff on LakeCumberlandSports.com. And we know now that we'll have two games that opening night of the boys because these two teams can't play each other. District championship on the line, that still matters. They still hang banners, folks. Uh, Bob's been down there. Hopefully he's had a chance to catch his breath. He's on a, he flew in on the shuttle, got here about halfway through the first game, I think, and we're getting him, we're getting him thawed out, get him ready to go, and uh, this one ought to be a lot of fun. Bob, you with me? Really should be a tremendous amount of fun here tonight. You look around, the crowd is huge. Yes. Uh, you know, near capacity, if not over capacity. Both of these coaches are excited. You can see the kids down on the floor. They've got their game faces on. Last time these two teams met, it was an 88-81 overtime yep. victory. I suspect tonight will be just as exciting. So uh, just a couple points of interest tonight. Somerset's going to be wearing what will be traditional Somerset uniforms. Yes. Pulaski County, in tribute to throwback, they are wearing warm-up shirts of the Shopful Tigers. Those of you all from around here, remember, the, the only green and white team around here were the Shopful Tigers, and everybody knows that I am not sure the Lady Maroons wore Eubank, Eubank Bulldogs, Bulldogs, but they wore, uh, they wore covers of the Shopville Tigers. So anyway, it's throwback night, it's homecoming. We've got a group down here in the end zone from the University of Kentucky, and they're doing the dance blue thing here tonight where a bunch of kids to raise money are gonna stay up all night long and dance. Yeah, I'm gonna get in on that, I'm pretty sure. (laughs) But again, Brian Miller has had a lot going on in the big house, as Josh likes to call this place, but the the big, the big thing is the boys' game tonight does not need to be hyped. No. These two good basketball teams, and they're going to get after each other. John Fraley grew up with this. His dad was a head coach here at Pulaski, and everybody knows that story. Coach Dunbar has kind of walked into this thing. And I asked him before the game, me and I were sitting down before the girls' game, and I said, Coach, has this settled in? He said, oh, this is a big deal. I said, how about your kids? He said, oh, believe me. He said, if it wasn't a big deal to me, it would be anyway because my kids really, really get up for this game, and so do John's. And he said, this ought to be a lot of fun. So he was looking forward to these two teams in a non-elimination tournament game getting to play each other. Well, you just nailed it on the head right there, Mike. This is a tournament-type atmosphere. You've got a ball club in Somerset. If they win, they're the outright regular season district champs and the number one seed. Pulaski will be the two. But that Who they play doesn't matter because the three, four, they're going to flip a coin. So not really sure what all is going to happen with that. But what I can tell you is these are the two best teams in this district, and they're going to rumble tonight on this floor, and it's going to be exciting. You mentioned John Fraley, and he says, yeah, he <laughs> says, um, our guys are ready. You know, it comes down to just, you know, we want to win this game. We want to be able to wear those colors all year long with just a little bit more bragging rights than the other guys. And I suspect that's why we're going to see all kinds of action tonight. So we'll hear the TVs clicking right now, or the at least ever, the access to us. That's why all of our schools need to play each other in sports. Amen. Right here. Look around this house yep. at the crowd that's in here, the excitement that's in here. The people who you don't get out for a lot of high school sports are here. This is pretty good stuff. And all I can say is, if we cheat the kids out of this, we cheat the kids, period. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm through preaching. We're going to go back to basketball. I get you. And thank you. I, I echo those sentiments. Let's get back to basketball. High school basketball <laughs> presented by Quick Care Walk-In Clinics and Don Franklin Family of Dealerships at Quick Care Walk-In Clinic in Med Park West, our title sponsor tonight and all season long. They offer short wait times for sports, physicals, flu shots, immediate medical care with in-house lab and x-ray. Open late till seven weekdays, 10 to three on Saturday. 
Behind the hospital, just off Bogle Street in Med Park West, Quick Care Walking Clinic says just walk in when you need them. And Don Franklin, family of dealerships, the 2019 models are rolling in, and why not? 2019's here. So stop by and visit any one of their Somerset locations. Find your new vehicle or previously enjoyed vehicle at any one of the fine Don Franklin family of dealerships where they treat you like family. All right, Bob Boone. I'm not too good with math. They say this place seats close to 5,000. I don't know what it seats. But if you take all them people standing in the end zone and you make them sit down somewhere. We got five. This house is starting to feel. I mean, there is a. And and this is what Crosstown High School basketball is all about. Only in Kentucky do you get crazy people like this come out on a Friday night. We enjoy having them here. We're glad we're here. And it's going to be Mount Victory will be the school being celebrated by and Pulaski County tonight. The only bad thing about those uniforms. You can't read them. The yellow numbers on the white shirts. Yeah, but again, anything to salute Mount Victory. Uh, Talk to our, absolutely. Talk to our friend Chris <laughs> Tilly before the game and I said, what can we do? He said, that's a federation issue. Of course, the Somerset girls game, which you and Paul did earlier, yeah. they had on dark purple numbers on black jerseys. Yes. It's got to be stopped. Somerset, kudos. White, jer- white numerals on purple jerseys. And, uh, hey, why don't we just go ahead and do the Sports Den Fashion Report, your local sporting good headquarters with UK basketball. In full swing, you want to represent the Cats and look your best. Hats, hoodies, and more. They have it all at the Sports Den and the high school apparel so you can look your good rooting on your favorite team. Proud sponsor of tonight's Fashion Report, Mike. Why don't you give us that sports so, event? Bob gave you Somerset in the traditional purple tops and bottoms, gold trim on the shorts with an S on the side, the block numerals in gold outlined in white, and Somerset across the chest. I like those uniforms. Mount Victory on the other end tonight will be in the white uniforms Bob gave you. They're trimmed in a little bit of gold, and I assume that is a black, although it blue. could be a dark blue. Is it yeah, dark I blue? I believe it's dark blue. So, Mount Victory. <laughs> with the yellow numbers. We'll have yellow numbers, and they're not gold. They're yellow. Yes. And that is our Sports Den Fashion Report. And uh, I hope you sit back and really enjoy this. Our keys to the game tonight, again, brought to you by Century 21 Advantage Realty, Key Associates. Contact Holly Sears Weddle when you're in the market to buy, sell a home. Be sure and call Holly at 606-305-3747. Bob, the keys to this one? Well, for Somerset, they've got to knock down some shots. They've got uh, some pretty good three-point shooters on this team. They've got to make some of those shots. Pulaski County, they got to get on the glass. They've got to do some rebounding. In the previous game, they were out-rebounded by a margin of 42 to 33, Somerset having the advantage there. So I think that's one of the, the, the biggest keys. The other thing is, Mike, I think both these squads don't get caught up in everything that's going around here. Absorb it, enjoy it, have fun with it, but the basketball game is played down there between those white lines. And somebody who remembers Mount Victory's uh, what their mascot Eagles. was. Were they the Eagles? I'm just looking at that big banner up Can there on the wall. Can you see it up there? Yeah. That what it, well, it looks like an eagle. I'll ask Bob. Or it's a buzzard. I'll ask Bob. Bob, you have any idea what the Mount Victory lo- the uh, mascot was? Well, I'm going to say the Mount Victory Eagles. All right. So the Eagles are finishing up their warm-up tosses. The jumpers have already settled in. And uh, we're going to get this one going. They played the anthem before the girls' game. We don't know if they will do it again. If they do, obviously, Will will take the anthem. If not, we'll give you the starting lineups. And uh, Bob went down and checked the book. You may already have some inside knowledge on the starting lineup. I do. I do. We can hold off a second. I know well, you marked them for me. I've got them marked, so if you want to do that. And, I will. Hey, Rick Girdler, shelter insurance agent, has been proudly serving Somerset and surrounding areas for many years. Doing so, he's helped generations of families get the right coverage at the right price for home, auto renters, life, business insurance. See shelter agent Rick Girdler on Ogden Street in Somerset. You can visit him on the web, shelterinsurance.com forward slash Rick Girdler. And now, your starting lineups. Be remiss if I didn't say hi to Joey Hall, who walked by and smacked me in the side of the head. Yeah, our starting lineups. That was tonight. rude. 
Well, that's joy. <laughs> no, we're glad to see him as always. Uh, for Somerset, Cade Grundy will start at one guard. Leading scorer on the team is sophomore at 18.2 a game. He'll be joined by Chase Walker, the only senior in the starting lineup at 11.3 points a game. Kaya Sharon will also start for Somerset, and he averages nine a game, does the sophomore. Jace Bruner, the junior at 9.4 a game, and rounding out the starting lineup for Jaron Butler's Briar Jumpers will be Dakota AC, who averages 7.8 a game. That's Grundy, Walker, Sharon, Bruner, and AC. For Pulaski County, John Fraley's bunch will go like this. Colton Fraley will run the show from the point. The junior averages 16.4 a game. Jacob Combs, the only senior in the Pulaski County lineup, 15.7 a game. Grant Oaks, 12.2 a game, the biggest man in the Pulaski lineup, and he stayed in foul trouble in that opening match about three and a half weeks ago. He uh, averages 12.2 a game. Garrett Heath, the junior at 8.9 a game. And rounding out the starting lineup is KJ Combs, the sophomore at seven a game. So it's Fraley, KJ Combs, Oaks, Heath, and Jacob Combs. Somerset, as we gave you 12 and 10, but a perfect 5 and 0 in the district. They won 88-81, as Bob gave you in overtime, a game that was heard and seen right here on Lake Cumberland Sports. It's going to take me a while to get used to that and seen seen. thing. And seen seen in high definition, full 1080p. So if you're watching on Facebook and you want to check it out in high def, maybe you've got one of them things that connects your phone or laptop to your television. You can watch it on the big screen. We got a picture the last time we did a game, I think. Jonathan Absher. Was that who it was? He sent us one of a, a big old 70 inch TV. And I don't need to be on no 70 inch TV. I look big enough. I look like Job of the Hut up here anyway. So, Mike, talk about when these two teams met back in January. Well, like it was yesterday, but January 7th. One of the keys for Somerset was Chase Bruner. And he come on strong, had 18 points in the game, not to mention double digits in rebounds. Had an outstanding game. Jumpers are going to need him to be big and effective tonight. And you mentioned the foul trouble that Grant Oaks had gotten into. And I think that helped Bruner to have the game that he had. We're ready to go, my friend. All right, let's do this thing as they jump mid-circle. It'll be Sharon and Oaks, as Bob gave you. And let's get this thing underway. Scott Bottoms will toss the ball. We're underway tip control to Cade Grundy and he says to Walker you want to run the point and he said nope okay and Grundy says I will and we've got this thing underway. To Cade reached a thousand point milestone as a sophomore. Pulaski opens up man to man. See how long they stay at that. Tough shot of the driving type rebound comes away to Pulaski. AC took a tough shot. Finally KJ Combs digs it out at midcourt. And Pulaski has it in front court. We get an offensive foul. Extend the arm and get caught. That's on Jacob Combs. He had a big grin on his face. I don't think he thought so, but. And get one inside of 30 seconds to start the ball game. Things can be tough. Nothing, nothing on your Randall D. Turpin CPA scoreboard. So it will be Walker running the show this trip. He'll give it to Grundy. Grundy and and Fraley. That's a good matchup. Grundy put it up short. Rebound by AC. Put it in. Yeah, Grundy, he may have gotten fouled. He did. But there was no call. KJ Combs to the rim. Laid it in. Well, that was a a breakdown on the defensive end for Somerset. Combs took it strong off the bounce. He's more of a spot shooter, but Grundy's going to run into a double team, got away from it. Walker, yes. The soft left-hander, 42. Somerset with the lead. We're a minute and a half into this thing on the Randall D. Turpin CPA scoreboard. Our thanks to Paul Wright for doing game one tonight. Walker had 10 points in the previous matchup as well. All five starters for Somerset had. Fraley took it to the rim. 
Grundy said no. K.J. Combs came away with the carom. Heath to the rim, laid it in left-handed. Wow. Evidently, Pulaski's got a plan to attack the basket. It's tied at four. Student section in jersey night, it looks like. Everybody over there's got on a sports jersey. Walker, three ball. Front rim, no good. Battle for the rebound, and Oaks goes in and gets one. Quickly to front court. Combs put it up too hard. Walker has a rebound. Here comes Pulaski to front court. Sharon, nice give to AC. Didn't go, but he got a hit. And that's going to go against KJ Combs, I think. And Sharon looks at looks at his teammate AC and says, why did you not make that? <laughs> yeah, he got hit in the side of the he head, did. I think. Both Combses have a foul for Pulaski. AC will step to the free throw line. Left-hander, yes. So AC's got three, is that right? Yes, sir. Give the other two to Walker. And it's 5-4. It's 6-4. to four. Pulaski will walk it to front court. Somerset will show man. Inside the Oaks, put it up on Sharon, got it. Oaks got way too good a position and way too deep on Sharon. And, and did probably, a nice job with the underneath oh, the yeah. left hand off the glass for a Rick Barker bank shot. Sharon probably lucky he didn't get the and one right there. Quite a bit of contact on the back end of that. They're going to let him play. He got a good crew tonight, by the way. I expect that. Grundy pulls up the three. No. Heath with the rebound. Down to about eight feet, pulled up hard, no good. Sharon cleans the glass. He'll was lead that the Fraley break. on the shot? No, it was Heath. Okay, thank you. Bruner got in traffic, put it up, and picks up the second foul against KJ Combs. They said first. I thought he got the one down here a moment ago. All right, I am already in trouble. That's Bruner's right. free throw's good. We'll fix it eventually. I they wish, don't put the numbers. I wish they would do that. Hopefully by the district tournament that will happen. Bruner a little hard with that one. It'll come away to Combs. KJ. Here's the front court. That's Oaks. Little dip. Oh, a little crossover Again. move. Took Bruner to the house. And Grant Oaks, that's two stout moves. Started out in the corner and made a baseline move. Again, the up and under. Off the glass for a Rick Barker bank shot. Sharon into the lane, gets it to AC, put it up. No good, a lot of contact. Comes out to Walker, back to AC in the corner, cutting Grundy. Can't get a shot up. He'll come back out. Still looking for a shot, though. Spin move, double spin, stepped out of bounds. No, they're just going to say he threw it away. A lot of contact, no call. Yep, the crowd thought so. Fraley in the corner. KJ Combs, three, no. Rebound. Heath put it up off the bounce, no. Tried to put it in off the rebound and it didn't go. They are letting a lot of reach. We'll call this the AT&T half. Hey, reach out and touch or something. It's, <laughs> anyway, they're, call, they're calling not a lot. Grundy pulls up baseline, yes. There is no defense for that. Seriously, I mean, he elevates over you and shoots it. I go old school on you. We'll call it the Olivia Newton John. Let's get physical. Yeah. As long as they First call it. Half. Yep. Three in the air, but Combs. No. That was That's, Jacob Combs. Yep. Rebound came away to Sharon. Quickly in front court. Bruner's got it down deep on a block. Put it in. His first field goal of the night. Third, 11-8. On the Randall E. Turpin CPA scoreboard, Somerset with the lead. We've played five minutes of the opening quarter. Combs to the rim, underhand, no good. Sharon with another rebound. He'll come to front court, a little crossover move, put it in. Mike, four of the starting five for Somerset. Actually, excuse me, all five in the scorebook for the Briar Jumpers. Yep. Pulaski County, just three, Combs, KJ, 
and Oaks and Heath have scored for Pulaski. Pulaski will get Sloan in the game as Combs came up limping at the end of that exchange, and he's off the end of the bench down here. We'll see what that brings. Sloan posted inside on AC, didn't get the ball. Posted the other side, didn't get the ball. Now he gets it down low and put it in. The old who thinks he's a coach came out in me then. I had a big man posted. I say give him the ball. Number 14, a big freshman. We've talked about how good he looks in a basketball uniform and just a young man. A freshman. Yes. Somerset has got Burton into the game. Tipped away, rescued by Grundy. Down the lane, a lot of traffic, put it in. Like I said. Strong move by Kate Grundy, the hoop and the harm. They'll get get Heath. Okay, thank you. That's what I thought I saw. That original block, though, that came courtesy of Sloan. I'm cheating. It's class. That's all right. If you're cheating off me, though, you're in trouble. Yeah, I know. I'm wondering about that myself. I'm trying to decide if that's a smart thing to do. No. Grundy's free throw is good. Three-point play. Largest lead of the game. Six points to the jumpers. Jumpers four out of five from the free throw line already. Pulaski County yet to make a trip. Ooh. Yeah. A lot of contact. Tough running shot. No good. Bring the rebound with Burton. He'll head to front court. Pull up. No. Behind him to Walker. Three. Yes. Timeout. Pulaski County 19 to 10. Somerset with a buck 35 to go in the opening quarter on the Randall D. Turpin CPA scoreboard. Keeping stats and the correct score is important to players, coaches, and fans, and the same can be said about keeping your taxes and finances in order. For over 26 years, Randall D. Turpin CPA has been doing just that, and if accounting's not your thing, then let the pros at Randall D. Turpin CPA do it for you. Proud sponsor of our Randall D. Turpin CPA scoreboard. They're located on Parker's Mill Road, in Somerset, as Mike said, 19 to 10 on your Randall D. Turpin CPA scoreboard. I'm trying and to cheat. That's all right. I missed a basket somewhere. And I I'm missed just, a shot down here uh, that we, led to the three. So. If he missed it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Blasky inbounds. They're down nine. Somerset has played a really solid first quarter. Really solid. Oaks has it. Puts it on the deck into traffic. No. Combs. Three, no, and he got a hit. That's going to be three free throws as Burton bumped the shooter on a three. That will give coaches gray hairs, indigestion, and a few other maladies, but you set a guy up sometimes. First one from Jacob Combs. He's in the book. It's good. Second one, short. Pulaski will get Zach Travis into the game as Heath will check out. This is about as big a lineup as Pulaski can put on the floor. Well, they've got a couple guys that don't play a lot of minutes, but that one is also good. Two out of three. A couple of young guys that one day will. But right now, if you look with Sloan, Travis, and Oaks on the floor, I think that's pretty good height on the floor. Walker, straight away. Burton, he'll come around the lanes, jump, stop, put it up. That was sweet. Burton has got the curly hair. He does. And when he bounces like that, he gets the extra bounce too, the hair. And that was sweet. That's a compliment, by the way, if anybody's offended. 21-12, nine-point lead. That matches as big as it's been. Fraley jerks the three. No. AC with a rebound. Nice position by AC. It was. Walker to front court. Pulls up from about 23. No. Rebound to Travis. Quickly to Fraley. They'll transition. Gets it to Oaks. Went up and... Go ahead and pick somebody. The crowd reacts, but Sharon may, nope. They got somebody else. They call it on Burton. I have no idea. 
I don't either. I wish the officials would make the definitive call. Oaks makes the free throw. There I am complaining. Oaks has got five. The lead is eight. Chance to cut it to seven. Burton will check out. But my county's got two fouls. That's probably why he checked out. Oaks with the free throw. He's got six. We go under 25 seconds in the opening quarter. Walker will walk it into front court. I've been waiting all night to say that. <laughs> Little crossover in front of Combs. Now they'll start the offense. Grundy comes out to get it at 10. He's at about 35 feet, make it 40. A little between the legs, crossover, pull up three. Missed everything. Rebound goes to Oak, shot at the buzzer, wouldn't have counted if it had gone. And we have played one quarter. It is Somerset 21, Pulaski County 14, Bob. l and Federal Credit Union in business since 1954. I want you to know that you now can join l and if you live, work, worship, attend school, or belong to any legal entity within Pulaski County, they offer everything necessary for your personal or business finances. There are over 85,000 members who have taken advantage of flexible mortgage mortgages, consumer loans, free online mobile banking, free checking, business accounts, and more equal housing lender, NCUA insured. And you've heard us already tonight mention a couple of Rick Barker, God being Realty Bank Shots. Names you know, names you can trust. Real estate and auction services for farm, commercial, residential, personal. God be Realty and Auction, 49 years experience in the real estate and auction business, and they are ready to put all of that to work for you. Go online at GodBeRealty.com for more information. 2114 on your Randall D. Turpin CPA scoreboard. A fresh eight minutes up on there. And, Mike, you said moments ago, Somerset uh, really has come out very strong. That was a good strong. quarter. Got a note from John Hines. He shouted out and said, it was good to see Lake Cumberland Sports back on campus. It's good to be here, Coach. So, going to be here a little bit in the month of February. Thank you very much. Pulaski has it to start the second quarter. Travis has it as he stays in the lineup. Nice feed to Oaks, laid it in. And That's from Sloan, and you got to take that. Oaks now has eight. Bob, that's more than he had in the first meeting, if I'm not mistaken. That's on Bruner. Nope, called it on Sharon. Who, who'd they get? Sharon. All right. That's when officials use, like, crooked fingers and yeah. all of that, it's hard to tell twos and threes and fours. and. Well, ours is unofficial, and it really doesn't matter, but it makes it a lot more fun. Yes, Oaks got the travel log, but it stayed. That one was all over the rim. And the lead is now four. It was nine. It's four. Or they've cut it in half plus one. Tough catch by Grundy. Looked like a wide receiver, didn't he? He did. Diagonal pass to Sharon. Looked like a quarterback, didn't he? Shot put up. Travis blocks it. It'll be out of bounds to Somerset. That's roll reversal, isn't it? If Grundy's throwing passes to Sharon. It is, indeed. Two pretty good football players we're trying to get out in that comment. Walker backs it out. Whoops. Ran into Heath. No contact. No fire. Threw it away. Threw it away. And Tucker, Cannon Tucker, yep. who, Cannon Tucker, who hit the game-winning shot in the JV game tonight to keep it from going to overtime at the buzzer. I owe him one. I was they got say. Oaks. He goes in, wrap around. No. Good job by Sharon to not make the contact. Comes away with a rebound. Grundy will bring it to front court. Pulaski's playing man, but they're helping on Grundy a little bit. Shot off the rim, no good. Here comes Travis, threw it away. Sometimes you get to play in a little too fast, but Pulaski right now has got a couple freshmen on the floor that are going to play a lot of basketball here at Pulaski County High School. And John Fraley, instead of squalling like you might as a senior, was up cheering on his freshman. Sometimes, Good hustle. Sometimes you got to do that. Applaud the rebound. We'll talk about the pass later. Yeah, we'll we'll watch that one 22 times tomorrow. Sharon, jump. Oh, he got Oaks in the air. Great move. He got Sloan in the air, and he's going to get hammered at the end of it. There are fouls, and there are fouls. That was one of them. Sharon didn't look like it bothered him a whole no. lot. Sharon's pretty big body. Big guy. Free throw, no good. Still, still a 
Four-point lead for the jumpers with 6.31 to go here in the second quarter on the Randall D. Turpin CPA scoreboard. Glad you could join us. Sharon will get the second one to drop. Five-point game, and Fraley walks it into front court, and Somerset is still man. Travis has got it, backs it out almost midcourt, still can't find anybody to give it to. Now Oaks is out there too. Crossover on Sharon down the lane, pulled up, nice. Oaks is having a game, folks. Double figures. Yeah, I've got him a third, or with 11, is that right? Yep. It's, like I said, he was in all kinds of foul trouble the first time they played, and this time he's just all, finds, all kinds of offense. Walker, crossover down the lane, strong move, put it up too hard. Oaks battles, didn't get it. It came back to Walker. He's knocked to the floor. Battle for the ball between Fraley and Walker, and jump ball, it'll stay with Somerset, and Walker took a beating on that trip. See Jacob Combs going to check into malicious, the ball game. You know, nothing malicious, no fouls. It's just people grabbing for the basketball, and Walker said next time I'll hold on to it better. Grundy in the corner. It'll come out to Walker, back to Grundy. Fraley pulls up on him, no. Heath has a rebound. Pulaski will head north. Actually, that's south, but pulls up, does Heath, and buried it. About 12 feet. We got a one-point basketball game. high school game. basketball. Yeah, that, that's, it that is, that mid-range pull-up. Yep. Yeah, and that was sweet. Walker to AC. Grundy will attack the rim this time up and under. No, I don't know how, but it went. Well, he coaxed it in. I'm just going to tell you, nice move. He's he's good. He's fun to watch. Sharon almost with the interception. It'll go into the bench. Dangerous play, though, for yep. Sharon. As he comes out, attacks that pass, able to get a hand on it. If he doesn't. That gets through. Oaks is open to the basket. Yeah, Oaks is dunking on the backside of that is yes. what happens, but. You got to know you can get there. Yep, and he, he did, and he, he did. did, and it was a good play. Sloan puts it on a deck. Now back to Heath, and they'll get a bump. And AC's going to be guilty, and we've had enough fun. Now everybody's going to crop at every call. Glad we got this crew. This is a pretty good crew. Well, I'm having trouble figuring out, and if you're watching at home, you'll understand what I'm talking about. We mentioned the gold numerals on the Pulaski uniforms yes. or the Mount Victory jerseys. Yes. I keep thinking they're Somerset in home white. Okay. Fraley from the corner, yes. Yes. That's huge for Pulaski. They need Fraley. He is the three-point guy. We are tied at 24. Or a 10-3 run by Pulaski. Walker into the lane, spins, put it up. Gave it back to Sharon, put it in the lane. No good. Oaks has a rebound off the back of Combs. Somehow Combs came away with it. Not really what I thought would happen. Lob over the top to Heath, and that's Pulaski County, and they'll take the lead 26-24 on the Randall D. Turpin CPA scoreboard and timeout Somerset. 30-second timeout. Let's take it with them. The folks at Interest Counseling Services want to invite you to join their counseling team. They're hiring in Pulaski County and several other locations throughout the state. Why not visit them on Facebook? Their page, Entrust Healthcare KY, proudly serving clients since 1999. And Henderson Chiropractic, committed to relieving your pain using true principles of chiropractic care. Their caring and helpful team strives for excellence through extraordinary service and patient education. Dr. Henderson provides care for injuries that occur during sports auto accidents, work-related activities, or just everyday wear and tear, the experience you need for the results you want. That's Henderson Chiropractic. <laughs> Bob, that young lady said she could do your job better. She could. She, well, I, I offered, she want the mic? I offered to hire her on the spot, but I, uh, I don't even know. All right, we're back it. to action. Let's get out of that before we get in trouble. Grundy has it between the rings. He backs it out, and he'll start the offense. Sharon, little crab move into the lane, put it up too hard. Oaks, man, he's on the boards. Four. Combs lost it off his hip. He says somebody touched it. Guess what? No, they didn't. John Fraley's got the basketball. It's wet. 
No, actually we had two. Yeah, that one. Somebody threw one on the floor. I wondered how we got, well, isn't that special? Try to guard both of them. Yeah, it's a Harlem, that's, it's that's a a Harlem game. Globetrotter situation. That's a new game. Grundy has it. Crossover and traffic. Got tied up. Yep. He nice did a defense. nice job. Yeah, when you spin into the defender like Grundy did, you expose the basketball. And Cade Grundy is not happy with the call, but it looked like a pretty good call from here. Said the blind man. <laughs> Plasky has it with a two-point lead and three minutes and 20 seconds to go in the opening half. Glad you joined us tonight. In the Oaks, tipped yeah. away. Good job but by Somerset to come away with it. Grundy says, I'm going to the rim. Wow. Get out of the way, up and under, wrap around. It's good. That was speed and athleticism. Yeah, there was, there was an athlete hiding in that body. <laughs> Nine points. Sloan, Combs, short. Could see it from here. And Sharon with a nice rebound. Ahead to Walker. Walker in on Fraley. Fraley got it, slapped it away clean, but it went out of bounds. You mentioned that rebound by Sharon. He's got five so far on the evening. Yeah, uh, Sharon is uh, right now, by my count, has got two points. Three points, excuse me. But he's a huge factor in this basketball Indeed, game. he has been. Five he's... rebounds, four rebounds for <laughs> Chase Walker. Somerset getting it done on the glass. Walker looked at three and took it back. Those are carbon copies of each other. Walker and Heath, mm -hmm. both sim similar body styles, play the same. Three ball over the top. Tucker buried it. I'm not sure that pass was intended for him. It went over the head of another jumper on the way to him, but Tucker comes in and does what he does and buries a three, and the jumpers are on top. 29-26 after it was tied at 26. Tucker a perfect two for two from behind the three-point line now on the season. He had just one made free throw on one attempt or one made three-pointer on one attempt he coming into this contest. Pretty good pedigree. Yes. Combs, Travis. They just spin it around the outside. Somerset's gone zone. Fraley from way downtown. Grundy with the rebound. Steams to front court, crossover in the lane, put it up, no. Battle for the rebound. AC might have been over the top, no call. It'll stay with Somerset. John Fraley is given the old fashioned, he was over the top symbol. Yeah. I, Deaf ears. I think it's a pretty good call, or pretty good uh, <laughs> call by Coach Fraley, but. It's only, it's only a foul if they call it. Right. Walker has it. Sharon, <laughs> a little, little behind the back, and he threw it away. Didn't mean to, and it got him in trouble. Fraley with a steal. Fraley pulls up from 15. Yes. Got the roll. That's his first two-point basket got of the five, night. He has yep. a three-pointer to go with it. And it's a 29-28 Somerset lead. Everything it's been billed to be. It is. This, is a, this has been fun. And with any luck, this could be a district final here in about two and a half weeks. Grundy, left side, pulls up for three. Hand down, man down. The defender drops his hands, and Grundy says, okay, I'll shoot over it. Pulaski in front court, trailing by four. Fraley, right side, Travis. Fraley from, you call it, somewhere in a 30-foot range. 28 anyway. Yeah, he's in front court portion of the volleyball court marked out here yeah. at Pulaski County High School, so yeah. if that tells you anything. Well, it's, it's eight or it's seven or eight feet anyway, Mike. Yeah. Oh, he thought he had a steal. Grundy said, no, you don't, and the foul will go against Heath, his second. Team six, no free throws, but for the final 31.9 of the opening half, Somerset would shoot the bonus. Oaks back in as he sits down with See, his Colton player. Carell has checked into the ball game for the jumper. All right. Or for, I'm sorry, I went the wrong way. Zach Travis in for yes, yes. Pulaski. Excuse me. Walker backs it out, being played by the other team's pivot man. Oaks, Pulaski's in a trap. Grundy gets out of it. Finds Sharon. Cross court to Tucker. 
bounced it, took it in, fi- slapped away by from behind by Travis. They'll feed it down low to Oaks, caught it, laid it in. 33-32, three-pointer to Buzzer. Grundy got rim from about 55 feet. We're going to go to halftime. Oh, my. 33-32, Pulaski County. I'm going to get you a scoring recap, hopefully, while Bob gets ready. But he can do a little reading, and then we'll swap roles. Magic Monograms on West Highway 80 is the place for custom embroidery, screen printing, and so much more. They can put your designs on medical and athletic uniforms, corporate and school apparel. You can find them on Facebook. Just search Magic Monograms and Embroidery. Contact them by email, sales at magicmonograms.net. In real estate, working with the right people matters. Barry Turner, broker and owner at Turner Realty Group, knows the ropes. Over the years, Turner Realty has developed excellent relationship with their clients. You can see for yourself on their Zillow profile, they have more reviews than anyone else in the Lake Cumberland region. Turner Realty Group just off 27 between lights 21 and 22. Call 679 sold or go online at shopsomersethomes.com. And at the end of this game, we will name the Somerset Community College player of the game. Never underestimate what you can do. At Somerset Community College, they can get you in, get you out, and get a better job quickly. They've got technical programs that will get you to work and transfer programs that will get you on the right path for a four-year degree. With the opportunity for free tuition with the work-study scholarship, you'd be crazy to go anywhere else. Apply today, somerset.kctcs.edu. Michael? You'd be crazy to go anywhere crazy. else. All right, scoring for Somerset will go like this in the opening half. Two points to Dylan Burton. Three points to Jace Bruner and Cannon Tucker. Four points to Dakota Acey. Five points to Chase Walker. Somerset led in scoring in the opening half by Kate Grundy with 12, a total of 32. For Pulaski County, oh, for Somerset, I think everybody who got on the floor put points on the board by my count. For Pulaski County, two points to Jacob Combs as to Garrett Heath and to K.J. Combs, six points to Caleb Sloan, eight to Colton Fraley, and the leading scorer in a basketball game in the opening half, Grant Oaks with 13, a total of 33. Zach Travis played many minutes in the opening half for Pulaski County and failed to score. 33-32, your score here at halftime as Pulaski County came from behind. We were tied at 24 We were tied again at 26. The lead changed hands a couple more times. And Pulaski with a one-point lead here at the half. I want to remind everybody that Modern Systems is a proud sponsor of the defender of the game. Modern Systems have been defending homes and businesses since 1979. How about that hand for Modern Systems in the background with thousands of satisfied customers across the Commonwealth and an A-plus for the Better Business Bureau. You can count on Modern Systems to deliver a superior defense for your home or business, call them at 679-4556 or visit the website at modernsystemsinc.com. Also want to thank Citizens National Bank the for helping sponsor us tonight. And once again, Citizens National Bank located on the Fountain Square in Somerset is they're located on the square in downtown Somerset. They've been here since 19... 19- 20 for nearly 100 years they've been the bank of the people of Pulaski County remaining locally owned and operated with no mergers acquisitions or name changes Citizens National Bank your hometown bank serving Pulaski County with seven convenient locations Citizens National Bank moving forward together member FDIC once again you are listening to high school basketball brought to you by Quick Care Walk-In Clinic at Med Park West where they have short wait times, flu shots, and an immediate medical care with in-house lab and x-ray. They're open late till 7 p.m. on weekdays, 10 to 3 on Saturday. They're behind the hospital just off Bogle Street in Med Park West. Quick Care Walk-In Clinic says just walk in when you need us. And a big shout-out to the Don Franklin family of dealerships for helping sponsor tonight's basketball. The 2019 models are there. If you want any of any variety, they've got it on their lots. Here in Somerset, or you can go online at donfranklingm.com 
view their entire inventory. Don Franklin, family of dealerships, they will treat you like family. Bob's still doing a little ink work over here, so I'll go in and thank Gary Sewell and the good folks at the Sports Den on Highway 27, our local sporting goods headquarters. With UK basketball in full swing, you can go by and get the cat apparel, your best look, your hats, hoodies, and much more there at the Sports Den. They've also got a high school apparel. You can get rooting on your favorite team. And baseball's just around the corner and softball and all the bats and gloves and cleats and all that. Go by. Proud sponsor of tonight's Fashion Report. As always, Rick Girdler Shelter Insurance. They've been proudly serving Somerset and Kentucky surrounding areas for many, many years. In doing so, Rick has helped generations of families get the right coverage for the right price. For auto home renters, life or business insurance, see Shelter Agent Rick Girdler on Ogden Street or visit him on the web, shelterinsurance.com slash Rick Girdler. Here's Bob. Thank you very much, Mike. Well, the game on uh, the score on the scoreboard, uh, Randall D. Turpin's CPA scoreboard, it's close, 33-32. And it's the same way when you look at the stats. Somerset in the first half, 12 of 26 overall for 46%. And Pulaski County, 13 of 24, 54%. Jumpers made one more three-point shot. They were three of eight overall. Pulaski County, two of seven. The jumpers, five of seven from the free throw line. Pulaski County, five of six. Rebounding advantage, give that to Somerset. 14 rebounds overall compared to 11 rebounds for Pulaski County. Jumpers have doubled up on the offensive glass with a total of four offensive rebounds. Compare that to just two for the Maroons. Truffles, nobody knows the truffles I've seen. You never know what you're going to find in this bag I carry. 33-32, your score (laughs) on your Randall D. Turpin CPA scoreboard. And, Mike, so far it's been everything we really thought it would be. Yeah, if I'm each coach, I'll tell you one thing. The 33-32 is a good thing. Even better thing is I've got two basketball teams the opening week in February playing good basketball. That's what you really want to see. I know the rivalry is important. And we're going to see the second half, and I expect this to go to the wire and all that other stuff. But both of these teams played well in the opening half. They guarded people. They rebounded. They took care of the basketball a little bit, and they competed. And to me, that's a lot to build on when you get ready for tournament time. It is indeed, and it's uh, it's upon us, folks. i doing some prep work today, and you look, and when you look at the schedule on the ryehards.com scoreboard, and you see about an inch worth of games left to be played before the tournament. Basketball season, the regular season, winding down. I believe this is the 23rd game for each of these squads. And, uh, yeah, both teams playing well right now. I'm sure both coaches are happy with their squads. Uh, And I would think, though, Pulaski's John Fraley, you know, wants his squad to get on the boards just a little bit harder. Oaks has been a – been a difference maker for him this game as opposed to the last time these two teams met. 33-32 on your Randall D. Turpin CPA scoreboard. Shelter agent Rick Girdler has been proudly serving Somerset and surrounding areas for many years. And in doing so, he's helped generations of families get the right coverage at the right price. You can go by and see Rick in his office on Ogden Street right here in Somerset or visit him on the web at shelterinsurance.com forward slash Rick. Girdler and I said 33-32. I gave the score, but I did not tell folks. Pulaski County is on top. They lead it by one. Pulaski County, again, if they could pull out the win here at home tonight, then the district ends up tied the regular season. Each team can claim a championship. You'll go to a coin toss to decide who's the number one seed. If I'm Rock Castle and Casey, and I'm going to be the three and the four seed, This is one of those, I I don't care how the coin toss goes next Friday for the third and fourth place because they are also in a, a, I don't care because I watch these two teams play out here tonight. I don't want a bite of either one of them right now. And uh, I think you you watched it with us. I mean, obviously you can draw your own conclusions, but this was pretty good high school basketball. Really was. Well played. Officials doing a good job letting them play as well. As uh, we are approaching, oh, about a minute to remain in this uh, halftime. 
keeping stats and the correct score is important to players, coaches, and fans, and the same can be said about keeping your taxes and finances in order. It is tax time, so throw all them receipts in a big box or a big old manila envelope and go down and see Randall D. Turpin. Over 26 years, he has been taking care of your finances, your taxes, and uh, why not let him do it once again? Proud sponsor of the Randall D. Turpin CPA scoreboard. They're located on Parker's Mill Road right here in Somerset. And l and Federal Credit Union has been in business since 1954, set up as a financial cooperative. Profits are given back to individuals by way of better interest rates, lower fees, and convenient services. They can offer everything you need for your personal business finances. Stop by their Somerset location in front of Kroger Marketplace on 27 or go online at lnfcu.com, equal housing lender, NCUA insured. And don't forget uh, Rick Barker, God Be Realty and Auction. Names you know, names you can trust. Proud sponsor of the Rick Barker Bank Shot. Ricky Bank Shot. Ricky Bank Shot. Somerset will have the basketball to start the second half. They're out and ready to go. Pulaski County getting one last look at John Fraley's grease board to decide what they're going to do. I hope the second half was as much fun as the first half. That was uh, – That was fun to watch. It was indeed. Both teams shooting rather well. Not great from three-point range, but good enough. As we get set to inbound the ball, and here's Mike with the play-by-play. Thank you, Bob. Grundy has it in backcourt. He'll start the offense. Man-to-man, Pulaski will go, and down the right side. Lob over the top to Sharon. Hello. You drew that up at halftime, and it worked, and you smile real big. Somerset back in top. They're in a 2-3 matching. Up. No, they're not. They scissored out of it. It went man. Combs got tripped, and they're going to get Grundy, and there's nothing he could do, but they did hit legs. And Grundy said, you call that on me? <laughs> you never have to worry about whether Cade Grundy's fiery. He's competing if he's breathing. Somerset has started Burton here in the second half, by the way. The only change I see in the lineup for Bruner. They've gone small. Turnover. Sharon with a strip. Mishandled. Got it back somehow. Put it in. There was a mislick in there somewhere, but he's got four quick. And Somerset has a three-point lead. Combs up and under, got it to Oaks, laid it in. Nice feed. Oaks has been so good with that little underhand with the left hand off the glass, a Rick Barker bank shot. Plasky a little full court man. Oaks got a hand on it, knocked it out of bounds. It'll be Somerset again. Burton will give it to Grundy and, uh, no, that's Sharon. And he got bumped by Oaks, and he comes up not happy. But once again, you lock legs, and that hurts, by the way. I was going to say, when you hit the floor that hard, was skin burn. Yeah, but that's one on Oaks. And neither one of those fouls were malicious, and they both hurt. Grundy, and they're going to get a blocking foul, and that had a. And that one hurt because he hit his his head head on on the the floor. Is that Fraley? I believe it is. It is, Fraley. Trainer will come out, and we'll have a stoppage, Bob. It was just a, you know, a common foul. Yeah. Well, blocking didn't quite get there in time, but he, when he went down, he hit the back of his head on the floor, and always a scary moment. Yeah, it is, and once again, that's playing hard. That's contact. That's part of the game. And you, you hate to see it. You hope, for Colton Fraley's sake, that he's okay. I don't think you'll see him back out there real quick. Official walking with him over to the sideline, making sure he's okay. The training staff will take a look at him. And well, he won't get back in the game until the officials are convinced he's okay. Yep. Grundy will inbounds with a one-point lead. Burton, Burton jerks up the about a 16-footer and buried it. And the lead is back to three for the jumpers. 
So Pulaski has lost their point guard. We'll see how that plays out. Throw it away. That's Not how well. it'll play out. Sharon missed the dunk. Oh, he wanted to dunk and it. Now, he... And he's grabbed a hip as he went down. Combs to front court. Put it up no good. Rebound. Comes away to AC, and we've got a stoppage. Sharon has grabbed, I think, a thigh, a hip. I have no idea, but now I saw him go down, and he usually if a guy goes down awkwardly, you get a roll. He went straight down. That They're kind of working. Let's hope like that's a cramp. cramp and let's hope a... that's a cramp. It looked awful at the start. I know that. Yeah, because I'm like you. He, he's now he's grabbing the back hamstring. That's probably which okay. That's not yep. a great injury either. And he's up no. and walking, and he's in some pain. But he grabbed that hip. I right was on afraid the ball, right on the ball. Was he hit the? Yeah, I thought he yeah, had a, 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 point, a hip pointer yeah. type thing, but. They'll get Tucker back into the game. And so right now, and Fraley just checked back in at the dead ball, by the way. Okay. So the, the fight doctor, Dr. Ferdy Pacheco, has got – let's hope he can get Sharon. Sharon is sitting down here, and I think so Coach Dunbar is asking him and trying to see if he's going to give a heads up. I'll bet he's back. Stole it away by Pulaski. Combs threw it away, but Fraley rescued it. Combs, three balls straight away. No. Grundy has a rebound. He'll head to front court. He and Fraley kind of crashed last time they were close. Three ball from Burton from way downtown. Seven points for Dylan Burton. Perfect three for three from You think the coach said Field? no, no, no. Great shot yeah. when he cranked that up. I don't know. <laughs> Combs with a little wrap around. No. Rebound to Tucker. Here comes Burton, the heat check, crossover, put it in, and a, and a blocking foul. Right now, it's Dylan Burton's world. Everybody else is just living in it. Indeed. Eight-point lead, a chance to make it nine. And good news, Sharon checks yeah. back in, and John Fraley is trying to take a timeout. Dylan You'll get Burton it. comes in to the night, averaging just 9.2 points per game. We're going to get 37% from the field. He's perfect 100% tonight. Interest Counseling Services is excited to announce that they're accepting new clients at all three of their Somerset locations. Call them at 676-0638. One of their team members be happy to schedule you with the perfect clinician to meet your needs. You can also check out our Facebook page, Interest Healthcare KY, proudly serving clients since 1999. And if uh, maybe you got the sports injury, we've seen a couple here. <laughs> Tonight, and uh, if, if that's your case, well, why not go see the good folks at Henderson Chiropractic, committed to relieving your pain using two principles of chiropractic care, and they strive for excellence through extraordinary service. They treat sports injuries, auto accidents, work-related activities, and everyday wear and tear, the experience you need for the results you want, Henderson Chiropractic. Burton completes the three-point play. He has eight in the quarter, 10 in the game, and the lead is the largest of the game for Somerset at nine. Pulaski has it in front court, 5.23 to go in the third. Fraley put it on the deck into the lane. He's grabbed, he put it in. Oh, wow. Gr Grundy got a piece. He'll pick up the foul. Fraley will pick up the basket. A little continuation across the lane. He put the ball on his hip, got elevated, and laid it off the glass for a Rick Barker bank shot. Well, again, he got beat off the bounce. I don't know how much contact there was. Fraley hits the free throw. He's got 11. He does. And the lead is six. And we've got forever to play. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this with us. Grundy in the corner. Spin move. Goes baseline. Fraley's there. Pulled up short. Got his own. Missed it. AC got a rebound. Put it in. Three shots on rim, and Somerset comes away with the AC bucket. Inside to Oaks. He'll, he'll win that battle. He's got 17, and the lead is six. For Somerset, they have a six-point lead in the Rock. Walker, crossover, 15-footer. Yes. Sweet. He was in there gliding to his right yep. and somehow got that. He he willed that ball in and excellent shot. Fraley looked at three, threw it away. AC's got it. 
Fraley thought Oaks would post strong, and he rolled to the top. Little miscommunication and an eight-point lead in the rock. Grundy behind the back between the legs. Finds Walker. Looked at it. Didn't. Took it inside. Tried to get it to Sharon. It's off of Pulaski hand. And Chase Walker probably would have been better off just to take that one up, switch off to the right hand maybe, yep. trying to be unselfish there and forced one a little bit. But got the ball Jumpers back. retained the ball. Right. Walker will sprint to the corner and get the inbounds. I thought he'd pulled the string, but he didn't. Burton has it out high. Crossover spin move in the lane. Put it up. No. Combs has a rebound. Combs to front court. Laid it up. Too hard. No good. Grundy for Somerset. Pulls it away and heads up the floor. Oaks got a piece of Grundy. Picking three fouled three. That's two on Oaks. Four on the team. That last miss and by Dylan Burton, his first miss of the game, whether it was two, one, two, or three-point variety. <laughs> a little chirping starting out there. I hope this stops because this is too good a basketball game to get chirpy. Walker heads up the right side. Now Sharon down on the block, spins in on Oaks, put it up, a lot of contact. Grundy just dominated the backside, pulled up three, rimmed out. Oaks, here comes Heath, eight-point lead for Somerset. Pulaski has it in front court. Fraley, crossover, stepped through, pulled up, got it. Another Rick Barker bank shot. That's just a veteran, a guy who knows how to get your body out of position, and the other guy. Six-point game, 3.03 to go. Third quarter on a Randall D. Tarpon CPA scoreboard. Somerset with the lead. They trail by one at halftime. They have owned the third quarter. Burton, a little fancy dribbling, got it to Walker. If that goes, the Globetrotters are in town. Oaks has another rebound. Six. Combs, front court, spin move. Blocking foul on Burton. Purple-clad fans sitting in front of us don't like it, as you hear. But the, uh, and the PC fans, they're just kind of being – quiet on that one. We're so just getting ready for yeah. tournament basketball is all we're doing right now. Everybody uh, was that on Burton? Burton. Burton. It's his third. Two. Yep, he's got three. Fraley from the house. No. Burton gets it to Sharon. Give the rebound to Sharon. Split the defense. Laid it in. He's got six and a quarter, nine in the game, and the lead is once again eight for Somerset. He's also got six rebounds to go with those nine points. Yeah, he's Pretty had good a nice nine. basketball game. Heath fought into traffic. Nobody checked Oaks off the backboard. He laid it in. He's got six and a quarter and 19 in the game. and He's looking towards a double-double. That's his seventh rebound of the yeah. contest. Yeah, That's free range right there. You let the big man roll straight into the rim. Walker looks at Heath. I still think they're twins. Their games are almost identical, except one of them's right-handed, one of them's left-handed. Grundy, a spin move into a double, finds Walker. Three in the air, yes. That was good basketball. NBN, nothing but nylon on that shot. Yeah, that's good basketball right there, folks. KJ Combs, as you heard the announcer. Hits a three, and we're going to get a timeout. 53-47 Somerset, 133 to go in the third quarter on the Randall D. Turpin CPA scoreboard. The place for custom embroidery, screen printing, and uh, so much more would be Magic Monograms on West Highway 80. And they can put designs on medical and athletic uniforms, corporate and school apparel. Find them on Facebook. Search my Magic Monograms and embroidery or contact them by email. Sales at magicmonograms.net. In real estate, working with the right people matters. And Barry Turner, broker and owner at Turner Realty Group, knows the ropes. Over the years, Turner Realty Group, they've developed excellent relationships with their clients. You can see for yourself. Just check out their Zillow profile. More reviews than anyone else in the Lake Cumberland region. Turner Realty Group, just off 27. Between lights 21 and 22, call 679 sold or go online at shopsomersethomes.com. Again, stay tuned. We will name the Somerset Community College player of the game and our Modern Systems defender of the game 
when this one is over. And actually, we'll have uh, one of each. Deuces. Doses. All right, we got a buck 33 to go. I'd love to tell you, but it's still the third quarter. There's a whole lot more stuff going to happen. Somerset has it. Burton back to Grundy, and they'll start to bring it up against token man-to-man pressure from Pulaski County. Grundy will look at this clear out for him. They have cleared the right side and said, take it, young man. Put it up. Come away with it is Heath. Ball got to the floor. Heath found it. And a wide open Sloan is the beneficiary of a brother, can you spare a dime? Is that a two or three? Two. Walker, four-point game again. He drives into traffic, fell down. They're going to call a walk. That's a tough call. His balance wasn't good when he made the jump stop, and there was enough contact that he lost his footing. That's a 50-50. This one goes the other way if you're a Somerset fan. Pulaski down four. We're under a minute. Fast game. Yeah, lots of discussion going on as Somerset's in in a zone this trip. Sloan wide open from 15, set shot almost. Rebound by Travis, put it up blocked. Burton has it for Somerset. Well, I'm not sure Coach Fraley wasn't thinking one there, but you almost got a layup, but it got blocked, so none of my business. Grundy has it. We go under 20 seconds. Back to Walker. Pulaski is in a sort of a hybrid defense. Fraley is playing Grundy. Everybody else is playing a box. Walker to the rim. Oh, Oaks, rebound, shoots it at the buzzer. Wide left, but not by much. 53-49, Somerset with the lead at the end of three on the Randall D. Turpin CPA scoreboard. Did you know that you could get free tuition at Somerset Community no. College under the Work Ready Scholarship? That's right. Free tuition if you want to pursue a certificate, diploma, or associate degree in healthcare, manufacturing, construction, logistics, business, or IT. The Work Ready Scholarship will cover your tuition expenses. Get in, get out, and get to work. Apply today at somerset.kctcs.edu. And again, as we said, we will name the Somerset Community College Player of the Game at the conclusion of tonight. And make that players. Modern Systems is proud to sponsor our defenders of the game. Defending homes and businesses since 1977 with thousands of satisfied customers across the Commonwealth and an A-plus rating by the Better Business Bureau. You can count on Modern System to deliver superior defense for your home or business. Call them at 679-4556 or visit their website, modernsystemsinc.com. Eight minutes to play, four-point Somerset lead, and I want to give a shout-out back to Coach Dave Fraley, who just sent us a note. And, Coach, uh, a true legend in this sport. And uh, this one I think you would enjoy. If you're here, great. If you're watching us, even better. We're ready to go. Fraley, spin it to Combs. Somerset is in a zone. Something of a 2-3 look. Travis might have got tripped. Somehow it came back to Oaks. Oaks. Grundy had him by the arm. They're going to score the basket, and they're going to call the foul on AC. So, Oaks, right place, right time. And this is the second time he's had an opportunity for a three-point play. And he missed it. Rebound to Sharon. We got a two-point game with seven and a half to play. So, everybody, go ahead, have another drink of water and chill out. We got a lot to do. What nice a back cut. cut. Blocked by Sloan. Grundy stole it back and put it in. Oh, my. Oh, my. Never quit on a play. Sloan into Oaks. Put it up. No. He got hit. And AC said something to the official, but I don't really think it matters. Third foul on Dakota AC. Now, Oaks he got bumped to, a little bit on the hip, too. He was yeah. had Oaks just crawled one in, Bob. Had a minor hitch in his get-along walking to the free throw lane. 22 on the game for Oaks and working. 
Chance to make it 23, more importantly. Chance to cut the lead to two, missed it. Sharon has another rebound. He's heading toward twin figures. He's got eight. Yeah, twin figures, double figures, whatever. (laughs) Walker to Sharon, Grundy on a back cut, nice. Nice. Good body control, went around the defender, no contact, laid it in. This kid's pretty good, by the way. Yeah, with any kind of ball. Yeah, if you give him a ball or a bat or a glove or – He's his our, dad, he's his our own Bo Jackson. His dad's pretty – Sloan down the lane, laid it in. How about that? Grundy holds up fist. Pulaski County – Again, Fraley is playing Grundy, man. Everybody else is kind of freelancing. Grundy pulled it up in traffic, no good. Combs comes away with a rebound. Once again, that is a box and chaser type setup, but Grundy took a tough shot right there. Combs, nice pass from Sloan to Oaks. And this time it's Oaks. That is as old as Hoosiers. That old, that time he did it with the right hand (laughs) up and under. How about it? One point game, 545. Walker pulls up, shot it short. Rebound to, can't tell who's got that Fraley. Grundy and he are tied up. Somerset basketball and a hell ball. John Fraley vehemently disagreed with the call. I I may agree with him. That could have been another over the back call, but not. Burton pulls up, no. Oaks. Has another rebound. Sloan will pull up for three. That one's hard. You can see it from here. Rebound to Burton. Ahead to Grundy. Here it goes. Slapped away by Travis. Grundy put it up too hard. Oaks got a rebound and first down. Somebody. Bodies everywhere. The effort is great. Ace is, uh, is that on AC? If it is, it's his fourth. That's it four, is. right? Yep. That was fun, folks. Uh, that's a common foul, by the way. No shots. Pulaski will shoot the bonus Next the time. rest of the way. Just the fourth. I thought I heard him say 15 foul. Okay. Scoreboard shows four. Uh, why would that bo- would change any thought you have? Pulaski has the basketball. Sloan, free throw line, back to Combs. Little crossover, no. All right, Pulaski's down one. We've still got five minutes to play. Combs, three ball, yes. That's just his second shot from the floor tonight. He missed on a three ball in the first half. We got a timeout on the floor. Let's take it with them. Citizens Bank opened their doors on the square in downtown Somerset in 1920 and for nearly 100 years. They have been the bank of the people of Pulaski County. Remaining locally owned and operated with no mergers, acquisitions, or name changes, Citizens National Bank, your hometown bank serving Pulaski County with seven convenient locations. Citizens National Bank moving forward together, member FDIC. This is Quick Care Walk-In Clinics High School Basketball presented by the Don Franklin Family of Dealerships. Quick Care Walk-In Clinic at Med Park West. Hey, they have immediate medical care. They also all have short wait times for sports, physicals, flu shots. They are open late till 7 during the week and 10 to 3 on Saturday. Behind the hospital, just off Bogle Street in Med Park West. Quick Care Walk-In Clinic says just walk in when you need us. If you ain't enjoying this, what's wrong with you? This is what it's – this is why people – like basketball and this time of year it just gets better and better this is a two-point basketball game pulaski has a lead they've trailed by as many as 11 here in the second half somerset led by as many as seven in the opening half now pulaski is back on top somerset basketball 445 to play sit back relax long way to go mike you can't see it but kudos to our engineer we've got the scoreboard up there the randall d turpin cpa my engineer and and they're pretty good aren't they 
Sharon has it. Little drop step on Oaks. Oaks got away with a foul. No, no, he, he didn't. They no, called I was it. Say, I, right. thought that. I called that one. That's three on Oaks. So 4:33 to go. 59-57 on your Randall D. Turpin CPA scoreboard. Sharon's free throw rims in. Sharon's got seven in the quarter, ten in the game, and, and eight rebounds. Eight rebounds. Nice effort. Next one. Yes. It was a laser, wasn't it? That yep. Barely clear. It's got to get over 10 feet and an inch yeah. to get in, and that one had about two inches to spare. Tie ball game at 59. Woo. Sloan rescues a bad pass. Got it to Travis, shot it short. AC has a rebound for Somerset. He'll bring it all the way to front court. Got something in mind. Blocked by Sloan. And Harmon, who's checked in. Got the rebound for Somerset. First time I've noticed, he must have checked in at the dead ball. Walker gives it to Grundy. There's going to be a lot of clear out run for number three over the next four minutes. Pulls up for three. No. Long rebound. Walker will run it down. Heads down the lane. Jump stop. No. Lost it out of bounds. It appeared Travis was over the back, but maybe the ball had already went out of bounds. I really don't know. I didn't see it. I was marking, uh, putting numbers in my scorebook, but uh, I can't tell you, Jerron Dunbar, head coach of the jumpers, had a word with the official. Yeah. He's shaking his head now, arms folded. That's the, I don't like the call. Fraley shows three, pulls up from 15 short. Sharon with another rebound. Gives it to Walker. Combs will dog him. Three minutes and 20 seconds and counting in a tie basketball game. Walker heads to the corner, finally gives it to Grundy, and that's a block and foul, and that's a good call as Combs fell out. That's it's two on Combs. Third. Team third. That's okay. what they announced. So. Well, I'll go with that. More importantly, we're at six each, so everything everything from this forward is the bonus. Harmon out, Burton back. 59-59, 3-12 to go. Your Randall D. Turpin CPA scoreboard. I'm going to a high school basketball game tomorrow. Are you? North Laurel and Southwestern's girls, girls play, that ought to be and I will go watch that one. Walker, crossover, finds Grundy on a – and he'll back it out, and we'll get a little clear-out action. I'm going to a Pulaski County Youth League game tomorrow. Grundy. Three ball by Burton. No, Oaks he's has in, another rebound. He's got 10 on the defensive end. To toss 10 in to go with about 24 offense. points. I'll get that officially here in a minute. Combs in the corner. That's K.J. Combs. They go to Oaks, put it in. There's money to be made right there. 26, yep, yeah, for Oaks, more or less. Two-point game, more importantly, 220 to go. Walker trying to find somebody. Now Burton will pop out and get it. Back to Walker, threes in the air. Yes, that was pure. It was the left hand. He's got eight in the quarter. And a one-point Somerset lead. We go under two minutes. Holmes put it up short, blocking foul on the man who had four. And and Sharon may have cramped up or hit a knee. I think AC has fouled out by my count. I've got him leaving with six points. Sharon's going to walk through this. That didn't look good the way he. No. And AC still. AC still out there. Combs missed the free throw. So either we've missed one on AC or they haven't got it yet. I thought he said fifth. My bad. I apologize for that. Combs hit the free throw. 
Well, the last time these two teams met, way back on January 7th, it was an 88-81 overtime. overtime game. Somerset Walker. getting the victory. Could we see OG again? They posted Grundy this time. Burton, three ball, no. Stepped on the line. Did right he? Is that what the they call it? Bench, yep. Right in front of the Somerset bench and no, no argument from Coach Dunbar, so that was probably a pretty good call. We're tied. Minute and 18 seconds. Plasky has the basketball. Both teams are shooting the bonus. Let's see what Coach Fraley does. Little slip of the give and go to Oaks, and he missed a layup. Grundy ahead to AC. Puts it on the deck, goes inside off the rim, no. Rebound's gonna come away to AC. Somerset has it with under a minute. Timeout. Somerset, we're tied at 62 on a Randall E. Turpin CPA scoreboard. Look here, walk-in clinics, high school basketball presented by Don Franklin, family of dealerships. The 2019 models are arriving daily, so why not stop by and visit any one of the Somerset locations? and find your new or previously enjoyed automobile at Don Franklin Family of Dealerships. Or you can go online at donfranklingm.com and view their entire inventory. Don Franklin Family of mm -hmm. Dealerships, where they treat you like family. Sports Den on South Highway 27, your local sporting good headquarters, and they are the place. Baseball season's not far away. Go buy bats, gloves, bat bags, and all the gear you need, whether it's youth league or high school basketball. Check it out at the Sports Den on South Highway 27, your local Sporting Good headquarters. Well, we will apologize to our viewers if, if we can. Thank you all, because thank you. Somerset has the ball inbounds. We're under 50 seconds. Walker on Heath. Grundy will pop out. That did not surprise me to see a two-man game. I think you run it down to about 15. Call timeout. Time out and then decide what you want to do. Burton to Walker, Pulaski, now we're at 35, really not, why not? Really not trying to force the issue. Grundy will take it. If anybody's gonna take it off the dribble, it's him. I think you're gonna to try to get the clock to about 15, maybe 12. And then you give take Grundy the time a out. chance to drive. We're at 20. Walker, jab step, back to Burton. You got four guards in the game, well, three guards. Coach Dunbar standing right next to the official. And he's going to tell him, and we go under 10, and we got timeout. At, at 10. 9.9. .9. How about that? What a coaching job, Buzz. Quick go ahead and read some. Clinics High School <laughs> Basketball. <laughs> Presented by Don Franklin. I want to also thank Rick Girdler, shelter insurance agent, who's been proudly serving Somerset and surrounding areas for many years. In doing so, he's helped generations of families get the right coverage at the right price. Auto, home, renters, life, or business insurance. See shelter agent Rick Girdler on Ogden Street in Somerset, or you can visit him on the web at shelterinsurance.com forward slash Rick Girdler. Also, Randall D. Turpin CPA scoreboard. Well, 62 62 is <laughs> the way it looks. And if accounting's not your thing, why not let the pros at Randall D. Turpin CPA do it? For you, located in Somerset on Parker's Mill Road. LNN Federal Credit Union, in business since 1954. Set up as a financial cooperative. Profits are given back to individuals by way of better interest rates, lower fees, and convenient services. Stop by their Somerset location in front of the Kroger Marketplace. LNN Federal Credit Union, equal housing lender, NCUA insured. Mike? Here comes a reset. There's 9.9 .9 seconds to we go. we got to get the cheerleaders off the floor first. Somerset's got the basketball in a 62-all game. That's a reset. That's all that matters. They go deep in the backcourt to Grundy. He's got him. Six as he comes to front court. Spins out. He's going to have to take the shot now. Fall away right side. Yes! yes! Ball game. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Kate Grundy, you do like the stage. Write that one down. There's a little magic in this building. There's for something you going and I. on. Folks, you can't draw it up any better. Both coaches knew what was going to happen, and an athlete made a play. Kate Grundy, 18 on the game, but none bigger than what you just threw up. And that was the old shooter's touch right there. Ball hit the front oh edge my. of the rim. Of course, the shot from the corner. 
And Somerset wins it 64-62. Bob's going to go ahead and thank some people. I'll get a scoring recap together, hopefully. Rick Barker, God Be Realty and Auction. Names you know, names you can trust in the business for 49 years. Let them put that experience to work for you. Go online, GodBeRealty.com for more information. Also, Entrust Counseling Services is excited to announce they're accepting new clients at all three of their Somerset locations. You can call them at 676-0638 and one of their team members being happy to schedule you with the perfect clinician to meet your needs. You can also check out their Facebook page at Entrust Healthcare KY, proudly serving clients since 1999. Henderson Chiropractic committed to relieving your pain using the true principles of chiropractic care. Their caring and helpful team strives for excellence through extraordinary services and patient education. Dr. Henderson provides chiropractic care for injuries that occur during sports, auto accidents, work-related activities, or just everyday wear and tear. The experience you need for the results you want, that's Henderson Chiropractic. And Well, I got a moment. I saw his bride today, and she tells me he's doing very well. Right. And is headed back to work, not 100%, but headed back to work. Good to hear that from our uh, good friend and longtime supporter, Chad Henderson at Henderson Chiropractic. Bob Boone. Yes, sir. Go uh, ahead. We've done, a lot, no, we've done a lot of basketball, and you and I not long ago sat side by side near this very spot and had a game in and – about as exciting a fashion as I've ever had. That was as good as it gets, too. We've got 64-62 on the final. And Kay Grundy made a play, let's just be honest. And they drew it up, and it, it, it was perfect. So I'm going to give you a scoring recap. We'll get around to a few other things here in a minute, some hardware and other things. But I just saw Cade's mom behind me, and she looked over here and smiled. And it's kind of like, oh, my that was pretty good stuff, wasn't it? For Indeed. Somerset, Cannon Tucker, three points off the bench. Three to Chase Bruner. Uh, six to, to Dakota Acey. Somerset with four players in double figures. Dylan Burton with 10. Kaya Sharon with 11. Chase Walker with 13. And Cade Grundy with 18. And the final two were large. I think everybody who played for Somerset. No, Jack Harmon played for Somerset and failed to score. I think everybody else that I mentioned uh, did get into the scoring column. For Pulaski County, two points to Jared Heath, to Garrett Heath, excuse me, three to Jacob Combs, five to KJ Combs, 13 to Colton Fraley and Caleb Sloan, and a game high, 26 to Grant Oaks. Pulaski County, Zach Travis played and failed to score for the Maroons. So, Pulaski County and Somerset have given us two oh my's. The first one was an overtime win at the Briar Patch by Somerset. The second one was a buzzer beater win by Somerset here at the Big House. And all I can say is the District 48, the 48th District Tournament, which you will be able to see live on LakeCumberlandSports.com, has set itself up to be a whole lot of fun, and I wouldn't have expected it to be anything else for uh, both coaches tonight you got 12 15 kids going to go into each locker room here and one of them's bouncing off the wall and the other one's dejected and i think both coaches are going to be pretty pleased with the way their team showed up tonight early february outing get you ready for tournament time and we had a huge crowd here tonight if you'd like to see this again guess what it'll, it'll be up, it'll be up on our web page at lakecumberlandsports.com you can turn the sound down if you want to, and you don't have to listen to me do the play-by-play, -play, and it'll still be a lot of fun, but just kidding. But thanks to Bob Boone for this and for all of our sponsors, for Quick Care Walk-In Medical Clinic and for the Don Franklin family of dealerships. We want to thank them for helping to make this possible. The other thing is we're going to get ready for some post-game awards, and uh, we don't have a heart sponsor to where we could say the heart attack moment of the game, but – the Somerset Community College players of the game, Somerset Community College is your community college. They have the lowest tuition rates in the state, flexible class schedules, small class sizes, and quality education that's close to home. Choose from technical, technical degrees for high-demand jobs. 
or transfer degrees to a four-year institution. We're the best choice for education and training. Whatever you need, we have it for you here at SCC. Apply today at somerset.kctcs.edu. We'll name a couple players of the game there. We'll also name our defenders of the game. Modern Systems, a proud sponsor of the defender of the game. They've been defending homes and businesses since 1979 with thousands of satisfied customers across the Commonwealth and an A-plus rating by the Better Business Bureau. You can count on Modern Systems to deliver superior events for your home or business. Call them at 679 45 Five, six, or visit our website at modernsystemsinc.com. Bob, Somerset Community College players the game. I, I don't know. Oaks had a double-double with 26 points. Yes. So I'm pretty sure he's going to be our Pulaski County player of the game. And after the final buzzer with Cade Grundy and the shot he made, I'm pretty sure that's a pretty easy pick too. Congratulations to Cade Grundy of Somerset and Grant Oaks of Pulaski County. You all, you are our Somerset Community College players of the game. You want to do some more stats before we do I'm, the defenders of the we game? We can do that. And here's, here's Bob. Who you got? Yes, without a doubt. And I'll let you pick the All other. Right, I got you. Well, shooting, uh, not a great night shooting for either team. Both teams made 25 field goals on the evening, 25 of 58 for Pulaski, 25 of 48. Or, I'm sorry, 25 of 58 for Somerset, 25 of 48 for PC. The difference in the ball game. Well, let's go down to free throws first. Both teams made eight free throws. Pulaski, eight of 12. Somerset, eight of 10. So far, everything's even. The big difference in the game was two extra three-point shots made by uh, Somerset. They were six of 13. Overall, from the three-point line, four of 14 were the Pulaski County Maroons. And those two three-pointers were the difference in the ball game. Rebounding, give the advantage to Somerset, uh, 31 overall rebounds, 24 for Pulaski County. Somerset, though, an outstanding job on the offensive glass. They had 10 offensive rebounds. Compare that to just four offensive rebounds for the Maroons. Uh, I don't know, Bob. We got tournament basketball coming up in a few weeks. We got some more regular season basketball before we get to tournament basketball. But I don't know. Can we Can we top this one? Well, I, I got a feeling we just might. We've, uh, it seems like every time we come here, it's going to be, as our friend Josh McKinney would say, an old-fashioned cuticle killer. This was a great ball game indeed. We got to name a modern systems defenders of the game. Yeah, I think. Uh, uh, Somerset, I think that one came to me right away. I don't have any issues with uh, our pick there. Kaya Sharon, yeah. he had nine rebounds and yeah. did a great job down low tonight trying to cut off the lane. And, man, i tell you what, he, he took more bumps and bruises than what you're going to see next weekend in the Daytona 500. So, uh, <laughs> I, and, I'm, and I'm going to go with Caleb Sloan from Pulaski County. Came off the bench, okay. had, had a good game. Uh, and, and, again, I thought the way he'd help distribute the basketball as well as his defense. And, uh, anyway, that will be – our two modern systems defenders of the game. We're glad. We hope you enjoyed it tonight. If you did, seriously, and you want to watch any of our broadcast, you can go to LakeCumberlandSports.com and watch them in 1080p, and and uh, they're up on Facebook, and you can catch them there too. So we invite you to go join it. Bob, uh, thanks for always to Paul Wright, who did the first game tonight. We want to thank him as always, and we get ready for tournament play and. If this one doesn't whet your appetite for a little tournament basketball, I don't know what's going to. But uh, to Brian Miller here at Pulaski County High School and for all of the folks who help us, for everybody that made this possible, I've had a great time. How about you? I have indeed. Looking to more, uh, looking forward to more high school basketball right here on LakeCumberlandSports.com. Be sure and check us out on Facebook. Share us, like us, send these videos to, to relatives far and away. And uh, we're glad to be able to bring them to you. Thanks again to Quick Care Walking Clinic, our title sponsor, as well as uh, Don Franklin, family of dealerships, our presenting sponsor, and all of our other sponsors. And I think I've got one more read to get in. To get you need one fair. more? Yep. Bob's going to read National one. Bank. For nearly 100 years, they've been the bank of people of Pulaski County. They remain locally owned and operated. No mergers, acquisitions, or name changes. Citizens National Bank is your hometown bank serving Pulaski County with seven convenient locations 
moving forward together with Citizens National Bank member FDIC. That is it. Once again, congratulations to Kay Grundy and Grand Oaks, our Somerset Community College players of the game, and to Caleb Sloan and Kaya Sharon as our modern systems defenders of the game. I'll close with this. That's one of the sweetest, that's one of the best moments. As Kate Grundy just came up and hugged his dad, but then grabbed the little man and put him on his shoulder. Got a lot. That's it. what this is all about. Congratulations, Somerset. Nice win. We're going to do this again. And uh, all I can say is, Bob, buy a seat belt. All right. Hang on. <laughs> Somerset, a 64 62 exciting win over Pulaski County. Until next time, I'm Mike Curry. He's Bob Boone. We're going to have fun again, but not right now. Good night, everybody. <laughs>